The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Okay, folks, this is Larry Pesavando setting in for his friend Steve Rhodes or the Trader's Edge uh, for today. He's a tiny bit under the weather. Nothing life-threatening, we understand, but uh, his voice was a little raspy, so I'm going to set in for him. Not that my, my throat is much better, but I'm still feeling good, whether you care or not. I certainly care. Let's take a look here at the NASDAQ, folks. Uh, you can see here the ABCD pattern that we're looking at. Uh, we're heading down to a little bit below 12,000. We're at 12,200. I believe we're going to be right here or right there later this week. Now, we talked a little bit on my show earlier today about the importance of this May 15th move. I'll go through that uh, with you right now because I think repetition is the mother of knowledge. And we always learn something when we are repeating. So let's just get in and take a quick look at uh, what we're watching here. About three or four weeks ago, actually, it was when the solar eclipse occurred back on the uh, 29th. It wasn't that long ago. It was only two weeks ago. Let's get this up here so we can take a quick look at it. Oh, dear. Just a second here. Here's what we are. Okay, what I did, folks, is I went back to 1987 because we had a situation where the market topped on August the 25th, harmonic convergence. There were five planets in the sign of Gemini at that time, and that was on the 25th. The Dow topped at 2700. It moved down into the solar eclipse of the 23rd of September. From the 23rd of September, it ran into the 2nd of October, which was a Venus trine Uranus conjunction uh, aspect. And uh, then the market, you can see, uh, went down and then it broke quite a bit. The whole key to what we were watching here, these aspects were pretty much exact. Well, pretty much. They were exactly the same. Shane Smolian talked about it on our show several times. Uh, you know, the fact that that stellium occurred where the, all these planets were lined up uh, together, which was pretty much what you'd like to see. The key to this was the market had to close lower on Friday, which it did, and then be sharply lower on Monday, and that's exactly what happens. If this is correct, now all we're looking at here is a time time count, folks. If the time count is correct, the day the day from the twenty from the second of um, that Uranus happened, which was on the fifth. Okay, that was the fifteenth. Let's try to go slowly and get this right, Larry. On October the second, nineteen eighty-seven. Okay, it took fourteen days to get down into the 19th uh, to 17 days to get down into the 19th, which was the big drop. Now, our, ours happened on the 14th, okay? Boy, oh boy. These numbers are just jumping out at me, and I'm not even able. This happened on May the 5th, okay? Now, if we add the 17 days to that, that's going to take us into May the 22nd. Now, we have a very strong lunar eclipse and a thing called the blood moon is occurring on the 15th. So I believe that we're going to be down sometime between the 15th and the 19th of May. And remember, sell in May and go away. Well, you had to sell a little early in May, but that wouldn't make any difference. Now, if we get to that point and everything lines up like it has so far, it is going to be one of the best buying opportunities that we've had in these markets since the bottom in uh, March of 2009. Now, people are saying that this market is very similar to what happened in March of 2009. And folks, I've been doing this for a really long time. And I can tell you with 100%, maybe 500% certainty that that's a, a bunch of fake news or BS, whatever you want to call it. Here is what I posted in the newsletter 
for TFNN on May, March the 5th of 2009. I'd been doing this for two years for TFNN at the time. At that point, you were seeing a beautiful three drive to a bottom pattern over the last five or six months. Okay, we were setting exactly on that day, on March the 5th, we were exactly 61% of the low that was made on August the 9th of 1982, which one of the best buying opportunities of the of the whole decades of the 80s. That was remember that was two years after President Reagan had been uh, uh, you know had been elected, and so that meant that it took two years for the economy to get turned around at that particular aspect, and we went straight up. Uh, for quite a while. Now, when we were here on March the 5th, what I was saying was we were going to have the strongest rally that we have seen in since 1935. And folks, we went from that level to where we hit back on January 4th of this year when we just under 39,000. So um, I happened to be a little wrong on that one because I didn't get the whole way of the way up or little pieces of it anyway. But anyway, that's what we're watching here. There's one other thing. I just got off the phone here with Tom Hugard. I'd like for you to look at this little white Gartley that occurred here when the Bradley model was turning down. Uh, this was in October of, of that year when we really started to accelerate uh, to the downside. Tom had just uh, had just uh, lost his job at for uh, for with Michael Spencer at, uh, at City Brokers, and he was out trading on his own. And I told him, I said, if we get below this level here, you know, you're going to be able to pay your tuition for the rest of your life. And uh, it did it more than one or two lifetimes. But that's what made him uh, basically famous. He shorted it all the way down, folks. And uh, he's a perennial. Well, not, he's a very. He trades the bear markets extremely well because they're they're so quick and uh, they don't allow much for. Uh, for air so if you're wrong you got to get out of the way but that's what we're watching here right now this has nothing to do like what we did when we got to this level here folks bear stearns had been trading at 106 way back here and now it was trading it just bought out at three dollars a share and uh it was uh you know that was a big deal of course lehman brothers went to tapioca at that time and nobody wanted to buy stocks it was just, uh, and that was the bottom. So I think we're going to be at a really substantial bottom at that time. How big it's going to be is anybody's guess, but timing is what I'm looking for. Remember that we have two outstanding targets. If you take the 24-7 newsletter, two outstanding targets in the S&P. One is at 39.63. The other one is at 39.25. That should be hit today or tomorrow. And then we should get a little bit of a bounce. How much that bounce is going to be, we'll have to wait and see. And then the final low, that if this is correct and the time count, and that's what we're basing this on, is going to come in around between the 15th and the uh, 22nd. That's one whole week. But remember, uh, this is a 52-week year, so that's one out of 52. If we can get within you know, 2% of where that time is, that's going to be pretty good. No matter what happens here, folks, we're going to have tremendous volatility to do some trading. I'll show you some of these things uh, that we were looking at last night and today about the volatility that we're having and, and how the uh, patterns line up with pattern recognition. So I think you'll enjoy uh, looking into some of these things. We're going to be taking a look at a uh, couple of these other markets that are holding up relatively well. If we look here at the uh, German DAX here, you'll see it's holding up relatively well given where we are. We'll be right back, folks. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, Larry Pesavino setting in for Steve Rhodes today. Uh, he'll be back with us tomorrow, hopefully. And we're going to take a look here at one of the charts that was sent to us by one of the Elliott Way folks. All I did was draw this yellow line in, folks. That's nothing more than a line that connects these highs. And it hits it right on the money. And it tells that the market should be pulling in to this level right here, which is 38. Let's try it again, Larry. 39. 38 on the downside and 3960 uh, so that range is 3960 to 3938 if you're short the market i highly recommend i don't care about the time because uh, time is very elusive i don't know where that time is i do know that price is important to me and i have some people uh, from our service that has been short have been short this for quite some time and we recommend that this is where you take your profits yeah we might leave a whole bunch on the table and yeah there might be a crash but yeah but uh, <laughs> i don't really care about that uh, when you made some money you got to be thankful for it, and uh, if we get to that level, I suggest you take your profits. It's going to give us lots of opportunities, folks. This volatility, the volatility I heard today was above 34. I don't know where it is now, but uh, that means it's probably going to get up to 50 or 60 before this thing is all over. But we're going to have some tremendous moves, both up and down, with rallies that will occur where people think, uh, please let me in. Right now, it's please get me out. But when they want to get, please let me in, you want to try to get in. It's a tad bit before 
before they do that, and that's uh, the important thing uh, to remind ourselves. But anyway, that's uh, that's what we're watching in the S&P. I've already posted the chart for the NASDAQ. Uh, that The first one on that comes in right under 12,000. That's at the 78% level. We're about 200 handles from that right now, so it's it's very, very close. Now, let's, uh, let's talk another one that uh, we were talking about yesterday. We did this on Friday, and also we wanted to talk about it again today. This was the move that we had in the natural gas. Now, remember, folks, natural gas hit a high, uh, as you can see here on this chart on Friday. It hit a high of uh, $9, okay? Uh, from there, it dropped all the way down. And then today, in the middle of the night, uh, right before the markets opened, it was actually before that, we got to the 828 level, which was an exact 382 of that move right here. Strong tendering markets tend to be stopped by 382 retracements. I'm going to be doing a whole lot of trading on 382 on the, the trading day I'm going to be doing on May 17th. I highly rec recommend you uh, look at that because I'm going to give you some little uh, t uh, tidbits to look at on where to put your stops on this and what your profit objective would be. But remember, folks, this was a $10,000 move in a margin that has 4200 Can you believe that? And two and a half times the margin in one day. And then the market rallied up today to the 382. You'll never guess, boys and girls, what happened. I know it seems hard to believe, but we're going to take a look at it. Nonetheless, hopefully we'll be able to find it here eventually. And I think I have it somewhere in the ballpark. Uh, I hope that's the ballpark I'm looking at. Uh, dear, what happened to it? Well, looks like that ballpark has been disassociated with my charts because I don't see it anymore. Doggone it. That just bothers the heck out of me. Let's just see if we can do it. Nope, can't do that one. Ah, oh, shucks. I thought I had this thing all ready to go. Eh, what am I going to do? Oh, guess what? I had it ready to go. It was just hiding from me, like always. Hold on. Here it is. Now watch this. This is uh, Remember, this is intraday, folks. Okay, here's your 382 last night. Okay, this is the $10,000 move down. The rally up is about uh, $3,200, right to the 382 retracement. And now we are approaching another $10,000 move down here at the 1.618 expansion, where, where uh, the natural gas should have one heck of a rally. So watch that level of 7.1. 7 That's down uh, $20,000 since the high that was made on Friday. That is huge, folks. That tells you that the problem with uh, energy is a uh, little overrated here uh, in the U.S., at least on the natural gas side. It's also, if one of the things that we, we did, a vid we do videos every night for our 24-7 folks, and one of the key things that we did last night, well, I actually did it early Sunday morning, and then I did it again uh, early in the evening because last night because of what was happening the fact that we had gone uh, exactly you can see the double uh, 1.618 expansions there and the ABCD pattern in between this is a four hour chart stopping exactly right here uh, in the uh, gasoline contract uh, I believe right at uh, 83 and it's been dropping uh, precipitously uh, ever since down well over five thousand dollars but that what was really interesting is because we were look because we like to trade crude oil more than we trade the uh, gasoline if we looked at the crude oil you'll be able to see here when we were looking at this you'll be able to look at this pattern we call the one three five pattern we have the lower tops and you'll see the last one was exactly 78 percent look where the opening was here on Sunday night, folks, right at this level here at 110.33 uh, was the 61% retracement. The high was 110.44. And it had a little bit of a correction today, folks, to the tune of just about, let's get it up here so we can take a quick look at it. Let's get the first part of it. Here was the first 382 retracement. We're going to do these in sequence so you can actually see it because this is the thing we have to import to you on our trading day on the 15th of May to get you to understand that, and especially with bear markets, folks, these patterns with bear markets are just made for this, and not many people are aware of it. I mean, I looked at it for years. I didn't see it. It was Tommy Hugar that pointed it out to me. Look at that 382 retracement right here. And now, folks, believe it or not, we are way, 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 way off the page to the downside. 
you can't make this up. Let's just take a look at it, and you'll be able to see it right here. I just did this right before uh, when I found out I was going to be setting in for Steve today. I'll bring this up, and you'll be able to see. There's your uh, ABCD pattern. There's your 382, okay? Bada bing, bada boom. There's your 1.618 expansion. Anything below 102, uh, look out. This, this crude oil could really, really take a beating. So remember, this was at 131 three and a half weeks ago in the midst of the war, right? Well, now we're at the 1.618 expansion. You've got a big ABCD to the downside, and odds favor, or what is it, chance favors the, pre the prepared mind. I'll bet you can't get five people to buy it today. But anyway, that's where the support should come in right now. And if it doesn't, the next support is way down at 99, and that could be a whole lot lower than where we are right now. Now, speaking of shorter-term trades, I want to cover a couple here, and then I will cover the uh, the sequence of what's happening with the market compared to 2009 again. But uh, I, I want to cover this the short-term stuff that we had last night in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, with it down well over 500 points. In the midst of that. We had a very nice, if you like ABCDs, and you're going to see one right here. There's a perfect, there's your perfect ABCD right here. You'll never guess what that number was off of that high on Friday. You got it, 382. And the next one, you're going to see the sequence of events that occurred right after. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesimento setting in for the man himself, Steve Rhodes. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com.
Okay, folks, uh, Larry Pesvano setting in for Steve Rhodes at the Trader's Edge. Steve will be back with us tomorrow, I'm told, hopefully. Anyway, let's take a look at this is the Dow Jones. Uh, those of you that are afraid to trade these real wild markets, down 500, up 600, all you had to do is go down to a smaller time frame, folks. They're there. This is an eight-minute chart. I could have put a four-minute chart, but the eight-minute gave me more time to look at it. You can see here we had a beautiful ABCD pattern. The Dow, the Dow Jones was... Uh, down only 300 at that point. Then it's down about 600. Look at the perfect A, B, C, D down at the bottom, folks. It rallies up to the 61% retracement. But what's even more important, if you look at these little cycles that I have here, it's a number of bars. You'll see we came down, I think, 15 eight-minute bars, an hour and a half. 50, two hours and a half. You'll see it comes right down here again, makes a bottom, and then has the rally. And you, you see this over and over again, folks, but unless you're exposed to how it works and you can actually see it and prove to yourself that it works, it's not going to mean a lot to you. And with this volatility index trading above 3,400, I heard earlier today, this means that we're going to see more and more of this kind of stuff, uh, you know, all day long. I've shown it to you in the crude oil. I've shown it to you in the natural gas. I've shown it to you in gasoline. I don't have time to show it to you in soybeans and wheat and all the others. They're all getting hit. And with crude oil down $7 a barrel today and all the other grain selling off, we might get a respite from this uh, inflation that's the bugaboo in the news all the time. So that's neither here nor there. Now, boys and girls, pull around. Oh, one other thing before we get to this level. I wanted to show you the difference between what happened now and what happened in uh, 2005. This is a chart showing stock market sentiment. And believe me, folks, uh, if you think it was bad now, you should have seen it way back then because you couldn't get anybody uh, to buy this stuff. You can see this little circle here. That, this is lower lows than we've had since 1990. Here is 2005, and we're b way below that. And believe me, we're only, you know, the, the S&P is only, t I think, what, 15% off the high, the NASDAQ about 28%. At that red, that red circle back here, folks, the NASDAQ was 85% off the high. Hello, operator. I mean, give me a break. I mean, that's a little bit different. So the news that they're giving you is not always the way that it appears. So keep that in mind. I'm a big believer in fake news because I hear it all the time and probably I distribute some of it myself. I don't knowingly do it, but by golly, that's the way it happens. All right. Let's make some money, honey. Let me show you why. This is the one I think this is the big daddy rabbit, folks. This is the El Dorado. The old mine with the old Aztecs, the search for El Dorado, and I think this is it. I'm being a little bit uh, facetious here, but let's take a look at everybody's favorite. That most 50% of the people thinks it's baloney, and the other people, the other 50% think 50% thinks it's salami. All I know is two things. Okay. At this point right here, A, B, C, D, John Jameson told me that Bitcoin was going to go to 25000 And I said, John, you ought to get out of your long Bitcoin. He said, I already did that. But look at it did. It went down. It made a beautiful A, B, C, D. Now, look, it takes out that high by just a little bit. And you'll never guess what that number was, folks. That was 0 0.382. Now, if you did a little bit of math, back of the envelope type, just to keep it simple, there's A, there's B, there's C, there's D. We're breaking, getting ready, break, broke, breaking below these lows very shortly. That sets up two targets, one at 20,000 and one at 13,000. Now that's between 32 and uh, you know uh, 20 and 20 and and uh, 13 is not very far. You can see how quickly it'll go down. Maybe it'll come down at the same time we're looking at the bottom in the market around the 22nd of May. Maybe that's it. I don't know. All I know is that when we get down to that level, John Jameson told me he said, that's the equivalent of Christmas Day, folks. He said that's like buying Bitcoin when it's at 100 is what he said because at that point, blockchains and cryptocurrencies will really be in the crosshairs of everybody. Nobody will want them. It'll be, uh, you know, stay away from it. It's like uh, Mr. Buffett will be crying out, yes, I told you it was uh, nothing more than, I forget what the words he used, uh, cannon fodder or something like that. But at that point, he thinks that's going to be one of the better buying opportunities, not necessarily in Bitcoin. Or Ethereum. It's going to be some of the other smaller coins 
that that are and tokens that are out there that have a potential. So we're going to be doing that for TFNN in the newsletter 24/7, and I'm also going to be doing I'm going to be giving a recommendation on this on the 17th of May. I'll give some prices out there and a couple of these to look at. I'm not going to put them in the letter or anything until after this thing starts, but I'm going to post post those into the room for those of you that are kind enough to support TFNN. That is a bonus for you, and I'll be following them. Uh, for sure. That's because uh, I have not bought in one, not bought in one, haven't bought any uh, of the cryptos. And this will be my, my first uh, venture into it, whether that's going to be uh, successful or not. All I know, it's much better to buy something at an 80% discount than it is to buy it at an 80% premium. That much I learned very, very early in my trading career. And it's stuck with me all this time. So Let's uh, remind ourselves of that. Now, let's get back to the big daddy rabbit. The one is about six times the size of the stock market, none other than our good friend, the Treasury bonds. Now, we have been, well, I have to tell you a funny story about this, folks. I got a, an email from somebody reminding me that up here, when we had that ABCD pattern, I was on the air, and there was a double ABCD. You can see the other ABCD coming in, so that made that a butterfly pattern. Uh, along with the beautiful long-term A, B, C, D up here. I said that I usually used to do the trade of the year, it was, and I did 15 of those, and I think 13 of the 15 worked really good. The other two didn't lose any money, but they didn't make any money. But at that point, I said I wouldn't call this the trade of the year. I would call this the trade of the decade. I forgot all about saying that, <clears throat> but this fellow was kind enough to send me the email and the uh, comments that I made on it. And so it turned out to be good. Folks, we're going to get down here to this one. We, we hit 134 and change today. We've rallied two handles. That's mainly a flight to quality, which is like throwing gasoline on a fire. Uh, it's going to come down and make it didn't it didn't make this trip without getting to 131, 132. We came within three points of it. That's not enough. In the Treasury bond, this this market is at, at minimum of six to ten times, or even more, uh, has more volume and players than we have in the stock market. So that's why it's important. We got the rate hit the the long the 30-year bond hit 3.2 percent, folks. Remember, up here they were trying to tell us that it was. Uh, uh, bombs away for negative interest rates. They were here to stay. Give everybody your money. They're not going to tell you whether you're going to get your money back or not, and you're going to have to pay them for holding it. Hmm, let me figure out how I want to get around that one. Yeah, that looks like a really good deal. You betcha. Try to tell that to a three-year-old, give him some candy and take it away from him and say, you're just not allowed to have this candy until I think you should have it, and I might eat it and not give you any candy. Folks, if you want to read a good book, it's uh, it's my own story by Bernard Baruch. Bernard Baruch was the right-hand man and had the left ear of none other than J.P. Morgan himself. And uh, he really uh, knew about finances. This was all during the 20s, 30s, and 40s. He uh, left a tremendous legacy with Baruch College and a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's take a little break. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LL. 
LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, Larry Pesvino setting in for Steve Rhodes, and I wanted to bring to your attention here, this is the Euro chart on the weekly. You can see we've made a big ABCD down, uh, completed it right here at this 104 and change, taking out the lows here of last year. This is a major ABCD, folks. The question is, we've been here seven days and it hasn't done anything. That's not a good sign. So we could easily break down and go a whole lot lower. It wouldn't be... Uh, very surprised it wouldn't be surprising at all to see if if that were to have happened because I want to bring to your attention if we go to a little bit longer time frame and that's what you have to do is when these things don't act the way you think and I'm short the euro and I just can't believe that it's not lower than it is right now but look at the monthly chart here on this you can see here this is a beautiful one three five pattern on the monthly there's draw one, three, and five, perfect. You, uh, it just here's a beautiful three drive to a top pattern on the monthly. Look what you've got here, folks. You've got setting down here at this par level of one, one to the euro, uh, is a 78% retracement. It's also a huge ABCD on the monthly coming down here at one, taking out the lows down here. You've got to watch this, folks. It's four handles from where we are right now. So pay attention to this par level in the euro because if this fails, this dollar index could go to 120 and that'd be like the Japanese yen. And that, that is going to mean there's real problems in River City and you don't want to be long any stocks or anything like that. It's going to be definitely be risk off. I think it's uh, important to remind ourselves. Now, we had a question from one of our listeners and that was about the Australian dollar because the Australian dollar – uh, is very, very important for commodities because they have so many commodities over there, including, including copper that is now approaching $4 a pound. Just a few weeks ago, it was $5 a pound. And now with that, just we had a 382 retracement on Friday in copper, just like we did here in the Australian dollar. You can see from your high, 
down to your low was exactly 382. Hit it two days in a row to the tick, and look what's happened. It's already breaking down rapidly, and that's where you want to start to learn the importance of those 382 patterns because I've been looking at these charts for years, but they always eluded me that I didn't think 382 was much because of the size of the swing. But frankly, it just didn't make any difference to me. Now, speaking of currencies, let's get back to the U.S. dollar for just a second here. Here is the dollar index on a monthly basis. I know it's going back quite a bit, but if you can see here, from going back here many years, this is going back decades, you can three, three drives up here. Look up, we hit the 61%, 61, 61, and we're here at the 61 again. Now, the $70 question or $64 question, depending on which TV shows you like, is this A, B, C, D going to be enough to stop it here, or are we going to explode up to this level right here? In order for the, Dow, for the euro to get down to that 1.0 par level, it's going to have to get substantially above where we are right now. I don't know if it can do that. That's why I'm watching. I mean, how many? I've been doing this show for 15 years. How many times have you ever showed me a, showed you a monthly chart? Not very often, but it helps describe why there's so much, you know, resistance up in this area right here. I mean, this is something big is happening. Whether it's related to the stock market or not, I don't know. But as I say many times, other people don't know either. That's it. Either what we're watching. All right, let's move on to uh, one other one here that is very important to us, being the fact that we have so many loyal listeners over there across the pond in the UK, and we'll get this up here so you'll be able to see it. This is our British pound versus the uh, US dollar. As you can see here, we're, we're down to the 1.618 expansion level. We haven't exceeded it yet, but boy, we're very close. And if you fail that, you, you're going to be looking down here somewhere, maybe even a double bottom in here. So uh, this is really important support that we're setting at right now here at the 123 and change level. Now, that you can see how quickly it, it's dropped, folks. Uh oh, just a minute. They're telling me something is happening. My little uh, my little beeper in the sky is letting me know. And the answer to that is uh, gold's making a new low. Let's get since we're talking about gold, let's talk about that because we happen to be we happen to be short the gold market and we want to get it up here to. Uh, are you kidding me? And there it is. Let's get it right here because I think we're going to be there very, very shortly, probably tomorrow or the next day. Going to be a really interesting spot here to look at the gold market. Here's where we are, folks. We were able to get this short. We have two shorts on. We got one at uh, 1925, another one at 909. And we're looking to cover everything right down here at around the uh, 1812. We're only $40 away right now, so 1812 would be the covering price right here. We also have a possible 20-man line there. You can see that would also come in at that point. That's going to be really, really serious, and I think it's important that you watch that. Now, those of you that are not involved in the precious metals and believe that you're still in a what you call a big boom here as far as let's just get this weekly silver chart up here because I think we're getting ready to have a uh, really good buying opportunity here in silver because inflation is just starting folks what we're having now is we're having cost push inflation because of the fact that uh, you know they, they can't get anything they can't get supplies and stuff it's not demand related when we get demand pull inflation that's when inflation is going to go wacko but here's the silver market look at this beautiful line here this 20 minute line right here down here 20 uh, I think right around 20 bucks I believe is where it is I can't see it exactly but if I look closely it's $19 $19 here in the silver so if you get that uh, pick. I, I, I think you have to back up. Oh, shucks. I lost the, the picture. Just a minute here, boys and girls. And I'll, I'll get this up for us. Uh, not again. Just a minute. And it's going to take me one second or less. And I'm the, the judge is out. Uh, Silver Weekly is right there. Get it back up again. Here we go. And the premiums are coming down a bit, but if you can buy silver around $19, the low down here was 11 
And now at 19, I think you got to you have to do it. And and if you if you want to buy those coins or tokens, uh, they're great gifts to give. They're beautiful. They're pure silver. I love them. I love gold too, but those silver coins they just have a special quality about them. I, of course, I you know as you know, I'm very near and dear to that silver market. I've been very very fortunate uh, in my life to uh, take a look at it. My goodness, we've got any calls coming in? Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Al said it's been impossible to get through today. I I really I feel badly for that, but when the lights line up. You're lucky if you get in, and by golly, you just haven't been able to make it today. So uh, we are, uh, what is beeping again? I stopped the beeper. What? Oh, it says gold still making lower lows. That's what we like to see if you're short. If you're long, you like to see them go up. Anyway, uh, let's take a quick look at one other thing that we're getting close to today. I know it seems hard to believe, but I want to get this up here. We'll take a look at it when we come back from the break. 877 877- Nine two seven six six four eight. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. With market volatility roaring back in April, Larry Pesavento has just announced a five-hour live trading webinar coming up on May 17th. Larry Pesavento is a 56-year trading veteran and has mastered his trading skills through many different market fluctuations. Join Larry on May 17th as he hosts a live five-hour trading webinar from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, giving you insight into how he analyzes the market and decides his plays. Larry will delve deep into the ABCD trading pattern, explaining how to structure your trading day, the times most likely to generate signals, which signals to ignore, and how to use the pattern to mitigate risk. In this all-day five-hour live trading webinar, take a seat by Larry's side as he trades the market it's real time, including the Dow and S&P 500 E mini, crude oil, natural gas, gold, treasury bonds, wheat and soybeans, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar yen, and more. If you've ever wanted to get inside the mind of a market master, you cannot miss this live trading webinar. To sign up today, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV.
Okay, we're back, folks. I've got the chart posted of the da uh, natural gas. As you can see, it's heading down towards another ten thousand dollar a day. That's twenty grand in two days, folks. Uh, our goal for the trading day on the May seventeenth is to make money. I'm also going to be teaching these patterns and showing them why they work, when they don't work. Uh, we're going to have five hours, and with a really active day, uh, we somewhere between that fifteenth and the twenty second, we should be coming into some pretty big swing bottoms and a lot of things so we'll have a lot of opportunities uh, to look at some of these things so if you get a chance to join us i'd certainly appreciate it and so will tfnn and they do a great job here for us so let's try to support them uh, the best we uh, possibly can now i want to share with you one other thing that we talked about before uh, this is this factor of what we looked at with time counts compared to what happened in 1987. I don't know whether there's going to be a crash. All I knew it was going to be a lower market. And I can tell you this by just looking at these numbers here. This is where we are right now, folks, on that red arrow right there. That's where we are. And so we should get down between the 15th and the 22nd of May is where that bottom should come in. That's based on time counts. Peter Lydes is going to be our guest here on Friday talking about some of these things. Peter did a special infomercial last night, uh, uh, podcast, I mean, uh, about the market's weakness coming in today, looking very similar to what uh, I'm looking at. And it should be because we both studied under the same cycle people and Mr. Uh, Fibonacci himself. And uh, so, well, that's not only the, that's not really the case. <laughs> That's a little bit uh, later in life. That was in the 15th century. Anyway, let's uh, – 13th century. Anyway, we'll take a look at that because that was 1242 when Fibonacci wrote his paper, Liber Abaci, which means freedom from numbers. And we use Fibonacci. It's freedom from pain, folks, because when the Fibonacci don't work, there ain't going to be no pain. There ain't going to be nothing but gain. So let's remember, live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. <laughs>